The Tapestry, 2019. His knuckles were swollen and bruised. Shaky as he closed the car door, or tried, it didn't latch. Not on the first time, or second, or even third. Not by any fault of the door, but because he was too gentle, like his body was naturally overcorrecting from what had just occurred. His mind could conjure excuses, justifications even. After all, he did warn her not to flush his dope, but the rest of him knew it was wrong. It changed his stride, the way his eyelids sat over his eyes, and even the way he sat in his car for the last 90 miles. He had put the door code as he read it from his phone. Thin walls, please be considerate. Mr. Karras and the rest of hotel management. The door opened to a small, cold room with a TV on the left, a single bed on the right, and a large black tapestry on the wall above it. Dead ahead was a small bathroom where he washed the blood off his hands and splashed his face. His nerves got the best of him when he re-entered the room and saw something bulging from behind the tapestry. His skin jumped from the bone, but he was reassured when he rubbed the water out of his eyes. He tossed the bag on his bed and dug around for a hoodie. It was so fucking cold in that room. He looked to the wall, half expecting to see an AC unit gently blasting him with cold air, but it was just the tapestry. It was fluttering a bit now that he really looked at it. He grabbed the bottom corner and ripped it off the wall, revealing a giant black hole. Not a hole into the neighboring room, a hole into nothingness, a black pit, a portal. The drywall warped inside with impossible pliability. He ran for the door, but it was gone, and he was no longer alone in that room. Eight giant hairy legs slowly reached out from within the hole. 